in the lobby. I don't know all of your stories. I don't know what your last week has been like, two weeks, last six months. But I would venture to say that together, collectively, we understand struggle and hardships. And maybe your list looks different than the list that Paul put out there. I'm not sure if many of us are uh, facing the sword these days. But if you are, let's hang out because you live a fascinating life. Maybe your, maybe your list. Maybe it has something to do with your job. The one you have or the one you need. Maybe it has something to do with your health or your family or a relationship that once was incredible but now it seems to be on the rocks. Whatever it is, as you think about your life and your hardships, I want you to just keep that picture in your mind because in this passage, who is when God is for us, who can be against us? I think Paul, I think Paul puts this list right here in this letter to show us that we're not alone when things are hard. In fact, uh, this list, if you were to, to stop for a minute and, and learn a little bit more about Paul's life, you would understand that every single thing he mentions, he had personally experienced. Trouble, hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, and the sword.